In a visionary move, ISRO's chairman, Dr. S. Somanath, announced plans to integrate nuclear propulsion in future space missions. This significant collaboration with the Department of Atomic Energy marks a new era in India's space exploration. Sparking this enthusiasm was the success of Chandrayaan 3's propulsion module, where the radioisotope heating units performed exceptionally, paving the way for more advanced applications. But how do nuclear rocket engines work? It's really similar to chemical rockets that use a fission reactor to generate high temperatures. This heat is then transferred to a liquid propellant, propelling the spacecraft with exceptional efficiency. No way this is that simple. But let me make it for you. Before we move ahead, make sure to like and subscribe to never miss any update on ISRO's latest developments. Imagine you're sitting around a campfire. The wood you burn is like the fuel in a regular engine, providing the energy needed to do something useful, like cook mushrooms. Now, instead of a campfire, think of a nuclear propulsion engine as using a tiny controlled sun to produce heat. In this, we use nuclear fuel, often uranium. Here, uranium undergoes a process called nuclear fission. Picture an unstable, radioactive uranium-235 atom breaking into two smaller balls when hit by a tiny particle called neutron. This breakup releases a huge amount of heat energy, much more than burning wood or coal. In the context of space, this method is really efficient. Traditional chemical rockets are like a sprinter who runs out of energy quickly, while a nuclear propulsion engine is more like a marathon runner, providing a steady and long-lasting push. This allows spacecraft to travel further and faster, opening up new possibilities for deep space exploration. For this venture, ISRO is joining forces with BARC to develop a nuclear-powered engine specifically designed for deep space missions. These engines overcome the limitations of chemical engines, especially in fuel capacity and travel duration. But why go nuclear? The answer lies in efficiency and safety. Nuclear thermal rockets promise faster transit times, reducing risks for astronauts and cutting down on the need for extensive supplies. Looking ahead, the Indian Space Station is set to be partially ready by 2028 and fully operational by 2035, emerges as a beacon of international collaboration in space research. This space station will serve as a gateway to interplanetary missions and a hub for microgravity studies, space biology, and medicine. ISRO's vision extends to the moon with its integrated lunar exploration roadmap. This ambitious plan includes establishing a cost-effective moon base habitat and a lunar sample return mission, underscoring India's commitment to sustainable space exploration. Do you know why is ISRO investing so much in this tech? From the experiments done by Chandrayaan-3, they found something really interesting just a few centimeters below the surface. Check it out. 